Number two is to build a money pyramid. Now let me let you in on literally how I'm doing this in my life, okay? Do you have a pen? Do you have a piece of paper? Because I'm about to spill the tea. This sisterhood is growing like wildfire. We have 50 plus countries represented in this community. And guess what girls? Some men even managed to sneak into the community as well. According to my back end data, 12% of the audience is now male. So it's still 88% women, but 12% y'all. If you're a guy, say hi. If you're a rich girl, say what's up. Today's video takes into account something my team and I have been reading over and over again in the comment section. Vanessa, make some content that applies to everyone. And I was like, okay, what are some money principles that I apply to my life in real time that can be applicable across the board? And I know some people love full financial transparency, like tell me all your numbers, tell me exactly what you earn. And I've watched a couple of those videos as well and I love them because they teach me what's possible. This video is a little different because I'm gonna be sharing three money moves that literally changed my life. But listen girl, I've come a really long way and I think it'll be really selfish of me not to share the frameworks that I actually use. And so in today's video, we're going to be opening the curtains. So if you want more content that's about me and my finances, like how I invest, how I've grown this channel, then girl, go ahead and hit the like button. The like button literally tells us creators what you like and wanna see more of, and it's free, so. Go ahead and do it, girl. And listen, come closer, girl. I know typically I would share ideas and I'll have like eight ideas, seven ideas, and you would just pick one that works for you and run off with it. This video is different. All three work together. So you might want to watch this video all the way to the very end if you want to get the most value out of it. Now, if you're ready, if you're comfortable, then let's get into the meat and the potatoes of this video. Number one is to monetize your knowledge. If you work a corporate job and you think that the reason why you have a paycheck every two weeks or every month is because you have a job, you're only partially right. The reason why you get paid is because you're selling your knowledge to clients through an employer. Pray for me. It's your knowledge that's actually paying you. So when you've worked for a couple of years, three, five, seven years, you're building your corporate brand. Every single time you leave an organization where you've performed well, you can carry that on to another organization by putting this information on your resume or on your CV. However, if you want to sell the same knowledge on your own terms to your own audience, then you need something a little different. You need to be able to build a personal brand, one that's independent of your nine to five job. For example, a lot of you watching this channel literally do not care that I worked in the big four. You don't care that I'm an accountant. I hardly even say this stuff. You're here because I'm giving you the information that I have as a result of having that background. If you're a lawyer, you can give information about contracts. If you're a nurse, you can give information about becoming a nurse. You can give information about taking care of patients, whatever it is that you know because of your job. There are other ways that you can monetize besides actually working a nine to five job or working in corporate. There are a lot of people doing this and I'm no exception. Back in the day when nobody really understood how social media worked, it was a little bit more different, but today it is so possible to build a platform off of the knowledge that you already have. All you need is a personal brand. Number two is to build a money pyramid. Now let me let you in on literally how I'm doing this in my life, okay? Do you have a pen? Do you have a piece of paper? Cause I'm about to spill the tea. When I decided to start monetizing my knowledge, which is finance, I had the option to do it either as a coach or a content creator. Hear me out. I chose to do it as a content creator, right? Now, why is this important? Because that's what determined the platform that I chose to build on. I had the option of either building an Instagram page or a YouTube channel, and I chose to build a YouTube channel. And I'm gonna be talking more about that actually on my Instagram. So if you haven't followed me, my Instagram handle is Vanessa on purpose. I chose to build a YouTube channel for one reason, and that's because YouTube is still the only platform that significantly pays content creators directly. And why am I saying directly? Because of course there are other ways to monetize your content beyond the platform paying you, but it's also nice when the platform 
pays you. On Instagram, you could sell your products, you could advertise for brands, you could do different things. But on YouTube, by creating content, you can start monetizing your content through AdSense, which is at the bottom of my pyramid. And if you wanna know more about how YouTubers actually get paid, I've made a whole video about that and it's gonna be linked here. A lot of times I say, do you want me to make a video about this? You say yes, then I make the video and you don't watch it. Anyway, this one is already made. Now on top of that layer, according to my plan, the next layer is sponsorships. When you're small, sponsorships come by pitching to brands, but as you grow, it becomes easier and easier to reach out to brands that you already use and tell them to sponsor your videos. First, you have to have an audience that aligns with the brand's products or services. For example, on this platform, I only share things that will benefit you and move you forward. And usually there are only a limited number of spots available. So when I share something, make sure you jump on it really quickly. Don't just think, oh, okay, I'll sign up for it next week. No, literally they give me like 500 spots, 1000 spots. Well, if you've seen point number one and you're thinking, oh my gosh, where do I even begin building a personal brand? Like I'm not even at that level yet how can I even start building a money pyramid? I've got you, okay? I found a perfect course for you. It's called Personal Branding, Crafting Your Social Media Presence by Kate Ahrens. And it's free if you're signed on to Skillshare, who've been kind enough to sponsor this video. From personal branding to leveling up your skills for your side hustle, Skillshare has thousands of inspiring classes for you. And the first 1,000 people to use my link below would have the opportunity to explore Skillshare for free for one whole month. Literally, what are you waiting for? I'm doing my best, okay? I'm bringing resources that you need so you don't just watch my videos, you can actually start taking action. And number three, girl, this is the most important one, girl, because it doesn't matter how much of a rich girl you become. It doesn't matter how much money you make if you do not know how to save or invest. Now, it's very easy to get that check and leave nothing left for saving and investing, but we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that on this platform. Beyond monetizing your knowledge, building a money pyramid, you also have to pay yourself first, okay? And by pay yourself first, I mean, once you get that money, put some money aside for your savings goals and for your investing goals. If you wanna see my numbers, like what's coming in, how I budget it, how I save and how I invest, then let me know down in the comment section, girl. You're gonna get to the bag this year. I know it's almost the middle of the year and you might be feeling discouraged, but honey, don't lose hope. I'm gonna do my part by showing up here with the resources and the information that would help you along your journey. And you have to do your part by believing in yourself and building with intention. I'm rooting for you. So please don't stop rooting for yourself. And until next time, please take care.